Tiziana, you're going to tell us about um, Caspian and uh, what it looks like. Is it practice changing? How you will think about this um, new data in the context of Empire 133? Okay, so um, talking about the Caspian data, this was recently presented at the plenary at World Lung by Paz Aris, and this is a phase three global study that had three arms, and we saw the comparison of two arms presented at this point and are still awaiting the third arm. So this is a study that randomized patients to the um, standard arm, which would be the carboplatin Atoposide. It did allow cisplatin, which is different than Empower 133. The second arm was the combination with Dervalumab, which is the PDL1 inhibitor. And the third arm that we didn't hear about included Dervalumab plus Tremolumumab, which was the CTLA4 inhibitor. And this study included patients with PS of 0 to 1. It did allow asymptomatic brain mets. And in, interestingly, in this study, PCI was not allowed in the um, experimental arm, but was allowed in the um, control arm. The primary endpoint of this study was overall survival, and then there were secondary endpoints of progression-free survival, overall response rate, as well as tolerability of the regimen. And what we saw were, in my opinion, results that really mirrored what we saw in Empower 133. We saw that this was a positive study with a primary endpoint of overall survival being met, and the difference was, 10.3 um, to about 13 months, so similar difference in terms of improvement in outcome in terms of overall survival. The PFS um, was similar between the two arms, but it was didn't meet um, it didn't meet uh, statistical um, criteria to move on to actually look at it statistically for PFS. But nonetheless, we also saw that the toxicities there were no signals of increased toxicity, and the response rates were what we would expect. And so I think overall, what the study also told me was, number one, there is something there in terms of chemotherapy in combination with immunotherapy. It's reassuring that we're seeing a very well-designed study that is once again confirming that for a subset of small cell lung cancer patients, there is a benefit of adding immunotherapy to chemotherapy. Now, how does this change practice? You know, when we've been using the Empire 133 regimen, and how will this overall roll out into clinical practice, I think, is, is the biggest challenge. Um, now, there's a few differences there in terms of, you know, the regimen with um, the Caspian study allows every four-week dosing versus every three weeks with, with Empower 133. And one of the things we were talking about was, is that good for patients and for clinicians? Are we more likely to use an every four-week regimen or do we feel that we need to monitor our patients closely and continue to see our patients every three weeks? Um, I'll tell you, at our institution, we kind of made the decision, even when we saw that we could use a Tezo every four weeks, that we wanted to continue to use it every three, because we felt like, okay, we really want to monitor these patients closely, especially when we saw the maintenance studies negative and quickly, you know, quick progression. Um, the every three week strategy seems to me clinically more appropriate for these patients, but also interested in hearing from others. Jamie? That's my practice pattern in this population or in any non small cell patients who have uh, aggressive or more symptomatic disease. Most of them need to be seen more frequently. And three weeks is kind of the outer limit of that frequency that I'm comfortable with. Although there certainly are the patients who live further away where travel and is both a burden in terms of time, effort, and cost. So I can see a place, particularly in rural communities, where the four-week dosing is a huge advantage. It's expensive to park in New York. It is. <laughs> <laughs> as well. Um, so one regimen versus the other, do you feel they're fairly similar, interchangeable, or thoughts in terms of the data? I think the data looks very comparable. and. As was said, it's reassuring to see this replicated because we always have doubts with just one study. Um, the data looks very comparable, and I think the unique feature of Caspian was that the control arm was treated very aggressively, as aggressively as could be. They were allowed to have up to six cycles of chemotherapy. They were allowed to have PCI, although the uptake was quite low, um, as is our national trend. But that was a really clean control arm with the top-notch treatment, and still, the combination outperforms, so it, it certainly reaffirms our new standard of care. Yeah, I'm of the same opinion that um, the result of Caspian is very important for the field um, for two reasons. We had the Empower 133 where everybody looked and said, 
they are positive, but I still want more. And then we had the negative string of results uh, from the maintenance and the relapse, which then started uh, leading people to question whether this strategy actually will work in small cell to start with. Uh, maybe the original result of Empower 133 is questionable. So to have the Caspian trial come out, replicate that result in a well-controlled, well-designed trial, I think is reassuring to say, this is a strategy that will help our patient. Unfortunately, at this point, we don't know who those patients are. So finding the small subset of patients that is really driving the survival advantage is key. And I think when it comes to the schedule, uh, I actually don't have much concern in terms of the Q4 week schedule. Some of my patients with uh, relapse disease on nivolumab, I treat them Q4 weeks. And they still do. I think as long as we have data to show that there's comparable PK characteristics between the Q3 week and Q4 week schedule, I will be comfortable doing either one. Um, but at least now we have a good platform to start building additional studies, either to identify subset that will benefit, or if we cannot, what other strategies can we add on to what we now have as a new platform for uh, further improvement?